Want to find out how to farm God Roll attributes for your mask, your knee pads, and gloves? Well, in today's video, I'm going to tell you how you'll be able to do that. Asifa, this is Lazyball. Today, I want to show you guys how you will be able to farm God Roll attributes for your mask, your knee pads, and your gloves. And this is going to be very, very helpful for all of you, those who are trying to get a god roll damage to elite or you know really high health for your knee pads or really high critical hit chance for your gloves and then knowing how to farm this is actually going to be helping everybody get those high attribute numbers now if for some reason you didn't get a chance to check out my video where i go over all the god roll attributes for each individual piece of gear highly recommend you guys definitely check that out i'll leave the link in the description down below so you guys can go check out that video if you haven't saw already, I was going to include the numbers here, but I didn't want to extend this video too long to actually show you guys how you'll be able to do this. Now, if all of this sounds like something you guys are definitely interested in, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. Let's get this video to 500 likes. And without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get started. So if you guys have been paying attention to the channel and all the videos I've been bringing you, you guys know that knee pads, masks, and gloves have a high probability of dropping the highest attributes when the items are part of a gear set. So what entail this means, it means that if you get gear set items, you're more than likely to get a really good attribute in even getting a god roll if you just farm gear sets. So this is going to be the best way to actually get the attributes and the god rolls you guys need. As you guys already know, you'll be able to get gear sets by doing invaded missions. And this is kind of pretty much a very predominant way of actually obtaining it but the problem with this is that you actually have to complete the mission to actually get a gear piece now this technically wouldn't be considered a farm but now how exactly do you turn this into farming an item well the way you're able to farm this is with the blueprints because remember apart from you getting the gear you will also be getting blueprints for gear sets for example the hard wire gear set those are all part of blueprints so for example let's say that you're looking for a mask that has a really high damage to elite what you will do is find the blueprint for that mask and head over to the crafting station and craft as many masks as you possibly get until you get that high damage to elite what makes this really formable is that you're able to farm materials and on top of that you're still able to farm multiple masks if you just craft them over and over. Now another neat addition is that you're also able to get blueprints from completing the raid for the raid gear set. So you'll be able to have multiple avenues of actually getting the gear set and using different materials to craft them. If you guys just go ahead and do the raid or if you do the invaded missions this is the best way to actually farm for these high attribute stats because not only are you bettering the chances of getting higher attributes by getting the gear set but you're also being able to do multiple pieces which will give you a higher yield to possibly get that god roll that you guys want now remember guys if you want to check what is the max rolls you could get for a specific gear Definitely check my video, which is linked down below in the description. But overall, in general, guys, that is how you farm gear attributes for the mask, the knee pads, and the gloves. I do hope you guys did find this video helpful and informative. If you did, guys, do me the huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Let's get this to 500, boys. Let's do it. And if you are subscribed to the channel, double check that your notifications are turned on so you guys can get notified when Division 2 videos are on. If you haven't subscribed, I would highly recommend you guys definitely subscribe. And if you do, make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you won't miss any Division 2 video content. Also, would like to remind you guys if you want to join the, the Bolt Nation, it's super easy to join. All you got to do is click the Join button next to the Subscribe button down below. It's a little blue button. The, click that and join the Bolt Nation. Super easy to join. One cool feature about it is that we have monthly giveaways for everybody that's part of the Bolt Nation, so you guys are definitely going to want to take part in those. And we have awesome channel features that you guys are definitely going to want to tap into. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget WGATAP, and I will catch you guys on the next video.